Ian McKinley, same question to you. This Toulouse team, as we take a glance towards maybe next year and Leinster will be watching and mm -hmm. maybe Exeter might have a think about going again and you feel like Racino is, you know, are desperate to, to get this tournament. Are Toulouse very much the team to beat in your eyes now? Yeah, 100%. I mean, <laughs> Shane, you know, is correct in everything he's saying there. They didn't play well and they've still won a championship. Mm. So that's... Uh, you know, a worrying thing for other teams, but then that's the, the standard that's been set. Um, what's really interesting is, is just the, the age category of these guys. They're so young. Even I would throw in Cyril Bai, the prop. I mean, there was a period there of about 10 minutes where he had three or four immense carries. Um, and they'll fit players uh, around DuPont, uh, into Mac, Bai, these sort of guys, uh, and they have the money to do it as well. So they are definitely a team, uh, a force to be reckoned with in the years to come. Yeah. Matt, is that how you see the landscape now? Yeah, and you consider their captain was out. Um, uh, Gitoum, who's been their excellent outside centre all year and a really rising talent. Um, plus, they'll, they'll be bringing in some other Frenchmen. Uh, this word Gal Ficou's going to go to the club. Whether that's true or not, we don't know. But so they're going to be there or thereabouts. One of their objectives is always the French objectives – is a top 14, but so many other clubs in France don't value Europe the way that Toulouse do. When you drive into Toulouse's ground, Stab Wallen, there is a, a giant a garden with this with this cement wall, and they, they have on uh, engraved on all the sandstone all their victories, and the, the centre point is Europe. Yes. Uh, all, all their wins in France, their wins of the Challenge, old Challenge Cup, and then they have their wins in Europe, and they are so proud of that. The fact that they have five and everyone else, like Leinster's next with four, mm. that will be a piece of real joy for their president, their ex-players association, all that. This is a piece of pride for them. And it's good for rugby, because I agree with exactly what Shane Horgan said. They're beautiful to watch. They on a, We didn't see it today, but on a dry track, they play the game the way it's meant to be played. It's joyous, it's entertaining, it's uplifting, mm. and it's inspiring. And they're doing it with local boys. And that, there are a whole lot of big ticks for the game. And it's great for this tournament as well that they're back and that hopefully La Rochelle are really invested in the tournament now because at times, you know, as you said, it's not always a priority for all the French teams. Sometimes you wonder about some of the English sides when uh, the Premiership is to the forefront of their mind. Obviously for Irish sides and the Irish provinces, it's very much the ultimate, but you need as many French sides invested as possible. So, you know, to lose back is just really important for the prestige almost of the whole event. Absolutely, Joe. And that, that's because of the promotion and relegation. A lot of the teams are weak. You can't afford to get relegated, mm. so you've got to put all your eggs into the top 14 or the Guinness, Pre or the Guinness Premiership. We're not going to worry about Europe. But there's some clubs, and we've got to leave You mentioned there, to lose at the forefront, this is a priority. And, and it, it's, as, as Shane said there, aristocracy. This is part of their DNA. Leicester have got in their DNA. Now, Ronan's just signed as director of rugby at La Rochelle. I can promise you, mm. I can promise you, by the time he's finished at La Rochelle, it'll be in their DNA as well because they won't be going anywhere. He prioritises this. And you've got to say Ronan's got the balance right because they're second in the top 14 and Toulouse are first. So these teams are proving to the other French teams you can do both. And, and I think that's a really, really healthy thing. Now that, that, let's also look from an Irish point of view. I don't believe in the gloom and doom about Leinster. They're going to be thereabouts. Exeter are, are hurting. They'll come back hard. And, you know, the blokes down the where the red down months away, they're hurting as well. They want that trophy. Mm. And that's that's great for the game. That's great for the competition. It's still, in my opinion, it's the best club competition in the world. It's exciting. It's a shame today wasn't as an exciting a game, but the competition itself is a wonderful competition and made all the better by those two French clubs. Yeah. 